Ice Spiller, and I'm back to do a new video. I just wanted to get in front of the camera. Man, I haven't been in front of the camera in a couple months, I think. Man, I can't even tell you when the last time I uploaded like an actual video and just sat down and just talked about whatever is going on. So anyway, I just wanted to shoot this video, kind of get my feet wet again. I uh, can't provide or I can't promise any constant uploads or anything like that because I honestly don't know when, what time, or when I'll record or when I'll come up with ideas and stuff like that. But anyway, I guess I can go ahead and jump into the whole Retropalooza thing. Um, that event did take place this past Saturday. Um, I got to go to the event. This is actually the sixth one. I, if I can remember actually think I've been to all of them um, but the event took place as normal here's my badge had a really really good time went with some of my same buddies that's been to like a lot of my game conventions and stuff like that there there was a lot of changes since the whole shooting took place at the game tournament probably about a month two months ago some weird type stuff I honestly don't remember all that transpired but because of that now they've had to take a lot of precautions. Um, normally when I pull up, because this one, this was the one that was in Arlington. Normally it's real chill. I mean, we come there, my buddies and I, we usually get there like first thing in the morning, try to hit up the tables, hit up any consoles, whatever, whatever little main events they may have going on at the, at, at the place at the time. But this time everything was backed out. Um, but there also was a college game going on at the same time, so we was rather confused. We were trying to figure out what's going on. Are these people mixed together? Are they with us? Are they? <laughs> but um, I walked up there, just went ahead and went up there to the door, because I mean the line was backed out way up. Um, so I went ahead and went up there and found out. Oh, they were doing a security check, so they had to do security check, check everything, check all your stuff. Um, like your backpack. I normally always bring a backpack and I usually bring some games to trade off. Um, and which actually this time it worked out really good in my favor. I have to say the Let's Play Expo was good. Um, that took place in July. It was awesome. But I just didn't have that same feeling even though I walked away and I purchased the um, Xbox. Which I'll show you real quick. Give me just a second. Only bought one thing, and that was actually it. That was the original Xbox that was back in July. The main purpose for getting one was so then I could mod it. I want to mod. I really want to mod. I've been. <laughs> that's been like my main focus and goal for this year. So my mind and my head is centrally focused on that and that alone. And actually picked up a controller too I mean this this has got to be the original Xbox controller because the last time I had got an Xbox I got one probably about three years ago I think it was and I didn't I didn't get rid of that I think I got it like actually about four years ago and then I got rid of it and I had kept a big majority of the games I'm as you can see that probably up there behind one of the console games and stuff like that or cartridges that I got up there um, but I actually kept that I kept a lot of the original titles most of the the big titles that I kept were games that I really enjoyed and really loved and stuff like that so it was nice to get another one and the guy was really generous he gave me a warranty a 30-day warranty um, and I got it for like $40 so I was glad to get that um, but that was from the last convention. This convention, I brought a big bulk of games because I knew I was going to use them for trade-offs or bargaining chips pretty much is how I look at it. So then I could get games and really I walked away only spending $15 for the whole lot. So I wanted to break this up properly so then that way I could showcase everything. I got a few games that I've been looking for and then I also got some games that I wanted to add back into my collection. So um, I traded off like... I think I had some soup Nintendo games that I wasn't playing anymore, um, some Nintendo 64 stuff, uh, some Nintendo stuff. So the first lot, I actually found uh, Tomb Raider. It's Tomb Raider, uh, the 20 year collection. I actually bought this, well I didn't buy it, I actually got it on a trade when I originally got it when it first came out. 
and um, if you look close you can see that it's only marked for $18 which was not bad I knew the guy actually I knew his one of his buddies so I was glad I bumped into him this guy had some really solid titles and stuff like that so I was glad to add this back this actually is the book so it's actually got the book in it I don't want to pull everything out I'll be working all day um, so I got that and I got the Witcher 3 um, for the Xbox One. I originally got this for free from my nephew for the um, PS4. But I went and got that. And then a game I've been really looking for and I've been wanting is Splatterhouse. Um, he gave it to me for 20 Actually, he gave me a, a lot of discounts on each of these things. So I walked away just trading off a few titles, some dupes, some games that I really wasn't playing anymore. And... I've actually been in the process of finding games that are disc based and kind of weeding out a lot of my cartridge based games because I know realistically I'm not playing them anymore whereas I'm playing a lot more of my other discs. So then I went to the other lot and I found some more games and I used some trades again, some bargaining chips so I walked away not paying anything. A game that's came into my life several times, I got this when I think I got this right when it was starting to drop down in price, but I got it as a trading uh, trading chip again. Well, actually, I did some trade-ins to get it the first time I got it, and I never played it because I think I had a lot of big bulky titles that I was just heavy into at the moment, so I never really played them. Um, so I never played it. So I'm, I'm hoping to get to it this time because I've seen a lot of prices going down, and I've also seen some like flash sales and stuff like that. Next game I got was um, Mega Man Collection because as you all know, if you don't know, this is the Legacy Collection. Um, I'm a big Mega Man fan. Mega Man 2, hands down, is my favorite Mega Man of all time. Some people it's easy. Um, I've I've loved this game since I was 12 years old and uh, I love the collection. And what was cool with this one, which I actually will show you, this one actually came with the little um, boss battle. Or, strategy guide kind of to help you out to let you know how to <laughs> beat these bosses so it's pretty cool so if you look at that it actually kind of goes down the line through all the Mega Man's helping you out a little bit nothing wrong with a little guide and then the game that I recently got into I downloaded a demo on my 360 so I was like let me go ahead and play it because I had mixed reviews about it when I was coming up as far as like when the game originally came out and that was Rage um, it was only it only up being five dollars and because I got them to drop it down. Oh, in the Mega Man collection, uh, that one's only ten dollars, and then this one was I think he only charged me like fifteen for this one. So for the lot, it wasn't that much. And like I said, I just used some bargaining chips to get them anyway. So I just did some trade-ins. Now these last ones that I paid for, I paid out of pocket. This game, Quantum Break, I actually been wanting to play this game for my Xbox One for the longest time. I just never got around to it. Um, every time I would see it, it would be $20 or $15. And my buddy was like, man, if, if you see that game for $10, you need to see it. So, you know, most of the games, all you see is, this, you know, you just see the, um, the arm of it. That's it. You don't see anything else. So, so when you're looking at the game, that's all you get to see. Most of them, they'll put their stickers on the top when they're at the convention. So I was like, if I pull it out and it's $10, I'm going to get it. So pulled it out. It was $10. I said, well, let me go ahead and do that. And then another game that I've been wanting back, as you can see, $5. Um, actually, I got this from OK Chief, a big YouTuber. Um, and he, I only paid $5 for that. So I was like, well, <laughs> I love Sonic. I love the collection. I love uh, 1 through 3 and stuff like that and a few other Sonic and Knuckle titles. But the event overall was really good. Angry Video Game Nerd showed up again. Boogie uh, 2929 was there, of course. The uh, Black Nerd was there. Game Chasers there. All of, I mean, I've gotten so used to seeing them. And then a lot of local uh, YouTubers, game store owners, they were there. Um, I saw them. Um, my buddy from Not Another Channel, he, um, he was there. He's got a really awesome channel. I even congratulate him because his channel is blowing up. I just haven't had the time uh, to dedicate to this channel. I've been just busy with other things in my life. Um, 
with the running and stuff like that. My foot's healed, so I'm slowly winging myself back into running after breaking my toe and everything. I didn't know how long that was gonna take. It's been like a month now, a month and a week, and I'm just now getting back into the process of running, and so I really wanna get into that, you know, but overall, I just wanna see where I can go with this channel. I do wanna dive into the podcast. I got a lot of good response, you know, I'm not looking for no big views on the channel or anything like that. I just overall wanted to get back connected because I felt like at one point I was disconnected. So anyway, I just wanted to dive in that, tell you how my Retro Palooza experience was. It was phenomenal as always. I'm Life Spiller. Leave comments below. Tell me what you think. I'm out.